All right, what do we have in store today? Today we're gonna use frisket on our piece. Ooh, frisket! One of my favorite techniques, but I haven't used it in years. Please tell the audience exactly what frisket is. Well, well, this is what it looks like. It comes in a roll, and all it is is it's just basically a transparent sheet. Okay, so why would you want to lay a transparent sheet over your painting? Because I want to come in here and paint space, outer space, and I want all this to be black, black, this little gap there, black, black, and some of this black, and then I want to fill it up with stars. So I use the frisket to lay down and cover the stuff I don't want to get painted black or covered in stars. So basically it's a protective film to protect the work that you've already done. Yep, it just protects the work that you've already done. So, so let's lay it on and then show the viewers what it looks like uh, once it's up there, okay? All right, so first we take our roll of frisket and, and you just roll it out to the length that you want covered. So I'm like right here. So I'm just gonna take my scissors now and just cut that length. Maybe even just a little bit longer since I kind of lost my place there. There we go. Now then, Double check and making sure. Okay, I got enough length. So, simply find your corner. And this part's a little bit tricky. Uh, it's not really that important to have it perfectly smooth, but I don't know. I like getting it as smooth as possible. Oop. A little bit sticky there. So you just peel the paper away. And I'm gonna lay it down, making sure to cover every border you want to cover. And I'm sorry if this is slightly out of shot here, but all right. Now you just peel the paper away and it's coming a little bit off the edge, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it because it's not thick enough to cover all this section that I want to cover anyway. So, this is the easy part right here. Lay down your frisket, Oop, smooth it out. Use the chopping side of your hand. Yeah! And then just drag. Dragon, dragon, dragon. So, I'm gonna lay the rest of my frisket on and then I'll show you guys what happens when, you know, you gotta cut out your holes, for instance, way up there and stuff, okay? But before I show you that, let me just demonstrate this little bit here as well. Here's my second piece that I've cut. And I know it's really hard to see, but here's, the, here's where my first piece ended. So you don't have to butt it up, just overlap it slightly. That way you're sure not to uh, hit any of this um, hard work that you've already done. You actually really do want to make sure all the bubbles are really smoothed out on this thing because later on we're gonna be taking our, the famed X-Acto knife and we're gonna be cutting out, we're basically cutting out all the outlines that we did. Now here's what you do with a little bit of excess. Just 
butt it up against your border canvas or illustration board or cardboard, whatever you're working on, just cut it right off. All right, here we are where my frisket is laid over my entire piece. And as you can see, these spots up here, since I'm painting all that white black, you know, you just cut out your little pieces to go over these, the top edges. The only reason I did full sheets across this is because most of it's gonna be protected and it's just gonna be easier for me to just cut out these little pieces here. So, now comes the tricky part where we take <clears throat> our X-Acto knife and we're gonna go in and we're literally going to basically trace doing the outline, see that? Cutting, cutting, very delicately. You don't wanna to push too hard on your board, otherwise you're gonna give like marks and in the final piece you'll be able to see it. But once you get it cut out, you just kinda of pick it, grab, and then pull up and then that part of your board will be exposed. So, let's get to it. How did that go? Dude, that was way more difficult than I remember it being. <laughs> I know, right? What were the difficulties that we ran into? And let's not forget, it's been many years since we've used this technique. So what did you forget about that you had to relearn during this process of cutting out frisket? I forgot how often you need to change your blades on your X-Acto knife. Here's your X-Acto knife. Those blades, you have got to change them out. I swear to God, every, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. Uh, another problem I ran into was you've, the wedges. And by wedges, I mean these tight little feathers. Anytime you're doing this, anytime you're working on these tight little feathers, you have got to cut from here down and here down. But then when you're trying to make Right, you're cutting here and then you're cutting here. But when you try to cut this one, this section just wants to peel up. So, so you've got to be really diligent on how you're cutting through this stuff. Another problem I just remembered is it's so easy to push too hard with your X-Acto knife and cut into your board. And I know from past experiences that that actually does show up in the final product. So. I made a few of those errors, but it's done and it's done and we have to move forward. So what's the next step? The next step in creating an outer space environment or whatever you want to do really, but I'm going to do outer space is I'm going to paint everything black. All my white spots will now become black and then I'll use a splattering technique to create what is an illusion of stars. Sounds interesting, man. So, shall we get to it? <sighs> Might as well. Alrighty then, here we go.
easel is empty and I have shifted everything to my floor. And what I'm gonna be using is a splatter technique. Um, it is a lot like it sounds. That's why I've laid down so much newspaper. And this is kind of just, you just gotta go for it. Um, I'm gonna be using two different techniques. One is with an old toothbrush. The other are with two paint brushes, one of which I will dip the end into the paint that I have mixed, and then I will hit it on the side of another paintbrush, thus flicking, flicking, flicking paint down on here, all in an effort to create a starscape. So let's see if I can do that. All right, so here is a toothbrush that I have been using for a long, long time. And after I mix my paint in a very, you know, fairly watery um, means, you just do this sort of thing. And, but you, of course you move it around to try to develop your stars. Um, I will be dipping this brush. I think this brush, I like, uh, I like the, the easy way the bristles give way. And then once you dip that into your milky substance, you just do this. That splatters it down. Now, before I do any of this, I'm gonna test this on the side. Always test it on your newspaper um, or wherever. And uh, normally I've, I've got a little round thing with several little, well, whatever, I lost it. I moved so many times uh, in the past couple of years that I've, I've lost this little palette, but uh, it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna mix a single paint at one time and then let it completely dry on here. Then I'll mix another one spray that, splatter that on there, let that completely dry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, oh, one last thing. If you have anything important or of value to you, like this really old photograph of my grandfather, my great granny, and my great grandfather, John, I like my Hellboy statue, and of course, Ed, I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way, get the Boba Fett out of the way, should get him out of the way too. The great Han Solo. So let me move this stuff and, you know, a lot of people think of stars as white, but again, this is a painting. So I think I'm gonna start off with a, uh, a light blue. So let's get All to right. that. Here's the consistency I was telling you about. So it's, it's not super watery, but it is, you know, what is that? A little bit south of gelatinous so I'm gonna attempt I'm gonna see if this is what works see how it kind of goes back and forth uh, let's see how that works and uh, you know I'm just gonna time-lapse through this wish me luck <laughs> Okay, that was the little toothbrush method. I know it's kind of difficult to see. I do apologize for that. But when you see the shots at the end of the video, you'll see what I have accomplished there. But now I'm gonna take my two brushes as I discussed earlier. I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna whack it on this because it just looks weird if all the stars are one size. Um, it just looks better. So uh, here we go. Wish me luck. And 
never forget to continue with the composition. Read through strokes. All right, so we are done with the whole splattering and toothbrush technique. And I've got a whole bunch of things that kind of look like stars, I suppose, in here. It's a lot of glare, but now it's gonna to come to the point where we peel off the frisket and see what we have left over. And, uh, you know, I'm always in this moment, I'm like, I've done it enough times to where I know don't get your hopes up because there's gonna be a whole bunch of things that happened that we're not necessarily gonna like. But, uh, and that means like, like I'm expecting somewhere in, in these uh, um, feathers and stuff that, you know, the frisket didn't lay down quite as flat as I would have liked it. So there's gonna be some black leaking onto some of my feathers and whatnot. But for the most part, we've covered up the background. And the good news is, is whatever mistakes we made, we can fix it with a paintbrush and some paint. So I'm gonna try to pull this frisket off in real time. Uh, Let's see how well that goes, but it is kind of a fun, neat process. All right, that doesn't look too shabby. Those are pretty clean lines on the feathers. Not bad, not bad. Now you can see how everything stands out. My next, my next mission will simply be to Make those stars look more like stars. Make those rocks glow in that night sky as the colors don't really match now. Finish those tail feathers and finally be able to finish this beak in this guy's head. And come into those blues and make them glow like crazy. So I think I'm going to call that the end of a video.